Councillor, to you, for those who aren't familiar with commissioning support units, is um, one of the new vehicles in the new NHS commissioning structure, supporting CCGs, and ARDEN itself um, supports six CCGs. So we cover Coventry, Warwickshire, and Worcestershire as a footprint. So the project we're talking about looked across all of that geographical area. We worked with the Young Foundation, who are a charitable body that have been in existence for 50 years now. And uh, it's a national charity that is committed to social change. So this is very much a joint piece of work between the two organisations. We started from a position that I think is familiar to all of you in here really, um, where within health certainly, there was a, a sort of patchy or limited engagement between health commissioners and the third sector, often very much a reactive engagement model, responding to a bid from a third sector organisation to start a service or a business case or whatever, rather than proactively seeking out innovation and um, advice and, and service design input from that sector. Um, as with all areas across Warwickshire, Coventry and Worcestershire, there are financial constraints both in health and social care. So we felt there was kind of a dearth of um, innovation, if you like, in, in the market and that by building a better communication model between the health sector and the third sector, we could generate more of a, of a sustainable future and we could make more of the experience in the third sector of understanding what will better meet patient needs and to deliver more innovative service models. So I mean, started from that, that sort of background, uh, the simple aim of our project was to build the capacity in the market around the social ventures, to engage with all those bodies that were out there, and to build some communication links between the CCGs and those bodies so that we could get more active communication going on, get more conversations going on around service innovation. Um, and so we needed to do a piece of work to actually understand which organisations were out there to engage with our Warwickshire Carver and the equivalent bodies across uh, Coventry and um, <coughs> Worcestershire to actually understand all the range of organisations that were out there beyond just the large players that were fairly well known to the health commissioners. Um, we then worked on having engaged all of those partners together, building a capacity within a smaller group of those uh, providers that had put themselves forward. So 15 social ventures had some capacity building support and to then shortlist that down to six organisations where we would put some intensive support in to help them build robust and viable business cases. Um, the fourth point on the slide refers to where we want to go next really, which is around um, how we might include social ventures in, in earlier stages of work in the development pipeline. So I'll talk quickly through the process we followed and then we'll give you some kind of real life uh, sense of what it felt like. So we went out there and engaged with the market to look at who was there and we ran a process of seeking um, expressions of interest from all the organisations in the communities as to who got innovative ideas, uh, proposals they wanted to put before health that met with commissioners' commissioning intentions and their health priorities. And we got 106 expressions of interest in within a very short time scale, really. So we were overwhelmed by the amount of enthusiasm that was there. We put those um, expressions of interest through a series of questions, which I'm not going to read out, they are on the slide in front of you, in order to shortlist down from that 106 to 15, which is by no means um, easy task really. Uh, the challenge though was uh, with a lot of the bids that came in was to assess which ones looked like they had an opportunity to deliver at scale. So they weren't just focused on smaller groups of the population, they did have real chance to make a large impact. To give you a flavour of the 15 ventures that we sort of ended up working more closely with, uh, that, that's the range of organisations. So there were some big players in there that are well known national organisations like Age UK, the Warwickshire branch thereof, and Diabetes UK, but there were also some smaller organisations that were much more locally focused um, that had also got through to the 15. And we ran a demonstration day where those 15 organisations came and pitched to a panel, which is the panel that was referred to earlier, so that we could then shortlist it down to the six that looked like they were the most ready to have some more intensive support. The sorts of themes that all of the organisations are putting forward, you can see up there, and they are very much in tune with the sorts of commissioning intentions we see all over the country, really. Strong themes around care of the elderly, long-term conditions, and harder to reach groups. And um, we, got, we got bids in there, as you can see, across a wide spectrum of um, proposals. They were all innovative, really unique projects. 
And um, of those, I can say we took those most ready for further development to, to build on further. So our general process was to put in some formal development days around the organisations that we shortlisted. They had some business planning session support, they had some one-to-one -one sessions of support from the Young Foundation. They had um, the Young Foundation's assistance in finding contacts for them to liaise with, to get them access to the sorts of data that they might need, to build a good business case, to give them the skills to be able to put a pitch to a sort of dragon's den type environment and to give them those kind of skills you need to be able to get your message across very quickly and snappily to grab people's attention around what it is you might be able to do. And most importantly, the help was around building relationships between commissioners and the organisations so that they were in a position to be able to pitch with evidence of the impact that their scheme could make. 